you know, Aquarius, if you want this connection or this relationship to blossom into something meaningful, then there's certain things that need to be dealt with. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for March, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, uh, guys, it is timestamp. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around. As you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so just give me a moment to just finish laying these cards Aquarius 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 okay all right so just gonna take these in and I'll be back so Aquarius let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. And picking up, is this being your side personally you're dealing with over here? But you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, all right. So just looking at the past, seems like you had to be strong in some way. And I say strong, maybe that might not be. That doesn't really explain what it is that I want to say. It's more about you standing in your power. You standing firm on what it is that you believe, what you want to do, how you things how you think things should be. There's something around you standing in your power and kind of finalizing this is it. Um, and at the same time, being very protective of you. I feel like there was maybe you having the need to defend yourself with, defend your action. Yeah. Mm, yeah, defend your actions or defend, um, how do I put that? <laughs> Definitely others, whether it's this person or outsiders, uh, there was you kind of feeling like you need to defend yourself from these uh, maybe comments or judgments or opinions from others. Uh, and that kind of forces you into this emperor stance of, you know, I'm going to stand in my power. I'm going to uh, take ownership of this and stand on what it is. Stand on business. Let's just say that. Put it in a nutshell. With your person, it feels like they kind of was left out in the cold. Again, this is the past. There's an element of them thinking that they've been left out in the cold. So maybe this is them. Maybe you're feeling the need or was feeling the need to defend yourself from this person or their, their comments or opinions regarding um, something around. Yeah, something around this. And because of that, it kind of kept them stuck. It made them feel like they were stuck. They couldn't move. There's a lack of movement on their part, feeling stuck. But just bringing it to where it currently is at the moment, it seems like justice has been served. It feels like you're in a better place than you was in the past. Um, but it's causing you to be a bit reckless, though, I must say, Aquarius. Really, I feel like it's a distraction. I feel like you're distracting yourself from... Distract, let me just make sure this is all. Distracting yourself from what's really going on for you. I feel like maybe you're engaging in certain hobbies or working, but it's a kind of distraction. It's this immature way of thinking around this. And that's simply because what's going on for you is this, this pain, hurt, hurt. I'm not sure where it's coming from this person or this person was the cause of it or contributed let's use that word contributed to this experience for you um but definitely there's a queen of cups there so it could be past it could be uh, previous to this person but definitely something that you're like that there 
definitely something that you're kind of masking. I feel like this behavior is masking that. I mean, it's definitely masking that this is what's going on. I feel like you're, it's definitely di directed or correlated to, to that, that reckless type of behavior, this maybe hyperactive type of um, thing. Yeah. And you, you felt like you needed to be strong around this past her with the strength card there. Strong around it, yeah. But not dealing with it. Now that's where it that's where it starts to become a problem because then it bleeds into other relationships, especially if it's not dealt with. If we're dealing with someone that's not this Queen of Cups is not relating to this person. So the Queen of Cups is, I mean it could be it's a water side. So a Scorpio Pisces Cancer does it have to be? I'm gonna pull on that. Yeah, there was hope. Someone that you had hope for. You was very much, you know, put work into. You very much, you know, gave your all and was hoping uh, and wanting things to turn out better than it than it did. Uh, and it and it kind of didn't turn out the way you would like, and it left you hurt. Yeah. With your person, they're kind of just basking in this space of where you're both at now. Like I said, this person felt like they were left out in the cold, but they're basking in just how things are now, where things are now when it comes to you and them and, and just this current relationship. Maybe you have a family with this person. Maybe you built something with them. doesn't have to be for all of you, but definitely them basking in just how things are at the moment. They're hiding something, though. There's something that they're not kind of telling you or, or being open about with the seven. Then it's to do with this page. It's to do with this um, attraction, this strong attraction or pull. I want to clarify that, though, because that's what they're hiding. They're keeping that to their cell. Page of wands. We've got the page of pentacles, which talks about new direction, new path changing core, doing something different. But again, that's in your that's in your challenge position. You've got the Queen of Cups there again. So this could be for some of you, so this is something maybe this person is aware of this other person. If this is another person, a past person that you haven't dealt with in terms of just your experiences with that person. Yeah, I don't think this person has revealed how strong of attraction they have towards you or just this pull that they have towards you. Wanting to take things down a new path, but there is this Queen of Cups that in the way of that and they're wanting justice around that, to be fairly treated around that. So I feel like this person is definitely aware of this other person, this past person. Maybe you've spoken about it, you've touched on your you know, past experiences, especially when you meet as well. You kind of talk about each other's past relationships and just touch base on how things were. So maybe that's how they were privy to the impact or the importance of this person to you when it comes to just the state you're in when they met you, if that makes sense. Yeah. Queen of Cups is Queen of Cups. So maybe that's why you were so quick to, I'm not sure what happened in the past, but that's why maybe you're so quick to stand on business when it comes to certain things or when it came to certain things. But this person wants the queen of pentacles. This person wants you guys to build something and actually establish something and actually, you know, make this, turn this into something. But they're feeling very much trapped emotionally uh, by just the mechanics of what's going on when it comes to you both. Again, it's this Queen of uh, Cups that they feels in the way, even if it's just energetically you not having dealt with whatever experience you you, you haven't dealt with. But something around this is causing them to feel trapped, um, but they're still wanting to establish something with you, turn this into something. Well, with yourself, I just don't feel like you're ready to deal with that free. It's like you're kind of happy or content. I don't want to use the word happy because it's not happy. 
but maybe it's because you've lived with those emotions and those mental thoughts for a while where you feel like, and it's become normal. It's become a part of your uh, normality where you just kind of learn to live with it because it doesn't seem like you're wanting to deal with that. It doesn't seem like you're wanting to deal with that right now anyway. You know, I feel like it's something that you feel with the six there that you've lived with for a while um, and it's just kind of a part of who you are, which still, you know me, it's, yeah, I'm not really feeling that, but that's what it is. Yeah, we've got the king of cup matching that queen. I feel like this past person, it was a serious type of relationship for you, Aquarius. The serious type of relationship for you. I'm not sure, again, to what extent you've communicated with this person, but they've definitely figured certain things out. Yeah. So are you going to, because, you know, I'm not sure, and I'm just going to go back before we wrap up what happened in the past. I feel like if this is not sorted or this is not at least, you know, you're on the path to sorting that, starting with some communication with this person, you know, bringing them into more of your inner world, um, then we're going to have a repeat of whatever happened in the past. It's just going to kind of repeat itself. Usually at this point in the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture, see what the next steps you both take. And then, of course, what emerges from that. But we'll be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. But as it stands, yeah, it's just certain things that you need to deal with. This person is feeling trapped still. They're still wanting to build something and turn this into something. But can it work? Can it work with these things not being dealt with? Can it work with this person holding back on what's really going on for them or, you know, the challenges that they're facing as well? Right, guys, I'm going to quickly pull on that seven of swords. Feel inspired to do so. Yeah, do you see that? Hide in the fact that they're wanting higher commitment. This person possibly want marriage. That's what they're hiding sharing so um hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as i say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you guys next week